Hey guys, welcome to Pop Empire, and today is part four of the Razorcrest build. Uh, if you'd like to be notified of any future videos, uh, please hit that subscribe button below, and uh, let's get to it. All right, so in today's video, I thought I'd go over with you guys some of the items that I specifically built for the Razorcrest. So these are items that were all just handmade, and uh, let me show you uh, what I have. So first, I'd like to talk about these two pieces. I made them specifically for the cockpit. They're part of the control panels. As you can see, some of the detail that I added into these, like last week when I told you guys that I was using the beads, you can see where I put them in here. There's also these two pieces up top here, which I took the ends of toothpicks, painted them black, pushed them up from the bottom, and you have that little bit of detail. Also with this, I took little wooden dowels that you can pick up at any craft store, painted them silver, added a little bit of tape on the ends of them, and glued them on top. With the second one, you'll see that I actually made a similar piece, but on the top of here, I used those beads, and I just kind of put a few on top of here just to make them look like lights. The second piece I made is this vat tube. This is made completely out of foam board, painted it silver, and I also added some black and a little bit of that burnt sienna just to give it a little bit of a dirty look. If you go back to episode one of The Mandalorian, you'll know that this makes a little appearance in that episode when the prisoner on the Razor Crest asked to go use the vat tube. Uh, this next piece that I made, which some of you may recognize, is the bed that you see in the sleeping quarters on the lower level of the Razor Crest. I made this all out of styrofoam. All these little pieces I painted brown, they are styrofoam as well. And then I took a piece of fabric, I painted it yellow, and I draped it across there, glued it down, added some little detail on the side just to give it a little bit of a dirty look, and out came this amazing piece. Now this other piece you might have seen already in a past Razor Crest video, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the detail that I added to it. This is also made completely out of foam board. The only parts that aren't would be these tubes, which I made out of material that you would get at a craft shop to make bracelets. And then the little silver pieces I cut off of zip ties, painted them silver. So it kind of gives the effect of these are the like hoses that'll freeze the prisoner into carbonite. And again, using those little beads gives it the effects of buttons. Now in these past videos, I've talked about a lot of what's going on with the build and everything, but I still haven't shown you guys exactly what's going on in the cockpit and show you guys some of the details that are going on in there. I wanted to show you guys the seat that uh, the Mandalorian would sit in. I added some, uh, which this is all made out of foam board. Even the red pieces are foam with red fabric that I glued on top of those. And same with each seat in the back. Also with the seats in the back, I added the white uh, detail that goes along the headrest. Also with the controls, I used up cut up toothpicks and I painted them silver and glued those together. With this one also, I found a small silver bowl that I was able to add on top of that, which is very popular among the child in The Mandalorian. And just like the tubing here that I showed you guys earlier in the freezing chamber, I also used the tubing in the cockpit. I also wanted you guys to see the ladder that I made, which is also made out of foam. If you go back a little further, you'll see the sink that would be in the area where the vac tube is. There's a vacuum on the wall, on the back wall. And then just different tubes that I thought uh, just kind of look cool uh, hanging from the walls. I also wanted you guys to see the sleeping quarters with the detailed bed in there, the netting on the wall. And of course, this is where the Mandalorian hid Baby Yoda. All right, that's going to do it for part four of the custom Razor Crest build from the Mandalorian. And yeah, it's coming along pretty nice. Be sure to come back next week for part five. Yeah, not sure exactly what it's going to be yet, but definitely it's going to be more Razor Crest build. Maybe some more structural builds, maybe some more details. We shall see, but part five will be next Wednesday. Also stay tuned this Sunday. We will have a figure hunt video, uh, a little one, you know, got to self-quarantine. So we're doing our best to still try to get in some, uh, 
some toy hunting as we can. But anyways, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below. Please leave a comment. Let us know any projects you might be working on. We would love to see them. We'd love to hear about them. And be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you along with us. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload a video. However, all the videos are Wednesdays and Sundays with some uh, added bonuses mixed in there, which I believe there's going to be one before Sunday's video. So keep an eye out for that one. So we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Peace, guys. See ya.